How are you? How are you? It is 7 p.m. and it is time to start our general membership meeting. Well, I'd love to welcome you all to the uh, June Delta Club membership meeting uh, here this month. Uh, it is a wonderful month. Uh, what month do we have? What special activities do we have this month, everyone? Good day. Good day. What day is it? 22nd. 22nd. Awesome. What time does it get started? Officially? <laughs> One o'clock. Now, we'll start a little early, but I'll get in more into that in a little bit. All right. Let me give us a quick second and call us to order for the meeting. Let me just do a quick roll call, um, just so that we know who all is here from the board. So I'm Joe Plunk, I'm the president. Uh, our vice president position is open. Secretary Perry Hayes. President. All right, our treasurer Jim Martin is out sick. Uh, our immediate past president Ty, not present. Director of programs, John. Here. All right, uh, director of meetings and special events, Scott is uh, out as well. Uh, director of publications, Mike's watching the door for us. Uh, director of training, Joe. All right, and our trustee, Dan, is here. All right, any other uh, activities for that? Welcome. Can I ask a, a quick welcome? Does anybody at your table that you're sitting with not know somebody? If you'll take 30 seconds and introduce yourself to somebody that you don't know at your table. <laughs> no fear of cheating the back. Now, real quick, any any bonus points for anybody that tested tonight? Anybody test tonight? We have one. Who else tested? Okay. So I believe we have news that we have successfully passed. What did we pass in the back? Technician. Technician, congratulations. And what did we pass over here? Absolutely. So you want to give us just a quick, uh, how was Ham 101 tonight, Ham? That was great. Uh, we, I don't know how, you know, I didn't even count. I think we had about 10, 12. Excellent. And we went over propagation and uh, a little bit more in depth of uh, vertical antennas. Fantastic. And where, where are those vertical antennas appropriate? Field day. Absolutely. Good answer. If you could sense a recurring theme, field day is going to be a recurring theme. We'll come up a couple of times. Uh, real quick, we've got some new business that we need to take care of. So we've got some minutes that we need to read and approve. I make a motion we approve the minutes that publish the Sparks and the uh, Treasurer's Report. Thank you, Ham. The motion seconded by Joe. Motion made by him to approve the minutes and Treasurer's Report as published in Sparks. Seconded by Joe Lowenthal. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All opposed? All right. Motion carries without any issues. All right. We'll move out. Now that we got that taken care of, uh, I do have a couple of quick announcements that I need to make. I apologize for pulling my phone out. But Mary Jean has asked uh, that I make this announcement for her. Um, for the bylaws committee. So she's going to start the Delta Club bylaws revision process this month. Um, some of the proposed changes have been brought up this year, so we hope to review the bylaws to see where we can improve and clarify. It should not take up too much time, and meeting times will be flexible as the committee members availability. This is a great opportunity for both our new and experienced club members to get involved. If you are interested in serving on the bylaws revision committee, please contact Mary Jean ky4fb at ky4fb.tn at gmail.com or 901-356-1475. So this is a very, very important committee that is a part of the club. Uh, very interested in having anybody that's interested in uh, making uh, our bylaws better uh, to reach out to Mary Jean. I uh, encourage you to do that, so please do that. If you need any follow-up or any more information on that after the meeting, please come see me and I'll make sure to share that contact information. All right, any questions on that right quick? All right, we'll move right along to, uh, real quick, 
We'll just poll the board members to see if they have any board member reports that they would like to share with the membership. Um, my uh, report real quick is field day is coming up June 22nd and 23rd. Oh. Love to see everybody out. Just a real quick show of hands. Anybody planning on coming? That is fantastic team, team club. Awesome. Um, I don't have any other announcements other than please reach out to Mary Jean about the bylaws. That would be very, very helpful. I'm going to move now to Perry. Do you have any report? No, sir. All right. Treasurer's not here. Uh, John, do you have any report? No. All right. Thanks, sir. Do you, uh, Scott's not here. Mike's at the door. Joe, would you like to provide a report? Uh, still on? Still on? Yes. It's on. Is it on? Okay. Uh, tech class is coming up on July the 8th on six Monday nights, 6.15 to 9.30 until August the 12th. I've got six people registered so far. I need 10 in the class. Uh, it got put on the ARL webpage uh, last week. Uh, but anyway, if, if you know someone that's uh, wanting to get their license, send an email with the subject line tech class and their name, email address, and cell phone number to wa4ovo at gmail.com. I think you might know that email by now. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, look forward to have that. Uh, it's, a, it's the first full in-person class that we've had in uh, quite a while, so that that's nice uh, to have it. I think uh, we get a lot more out of a class when they're in. For one thing, uh, there's camaraderie among the students, and each of the students can learn uh, even ham radio things that uh, they might have already picked up to, uh, between each other and become elmers to each other. Uh, in that class, so it, it makes it to where it's, uh, I think, beneficial. But uh, get the word out if you have any friends that are wanting to get into a class, it'll be at the Memphis Police Department Abilene Farm Station uh, training room, and uh, we've got that uh, for all six nights. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Huntsville bus trip. You want to make it reminds us about the Huntsville bus trip because that's the next most important thing after field day. Uh, Huntsville bus trip. Uh, we've only got about uh, ten people signed up or saying that they are wanting to go. Uh, it's ninety nine dollars. Leaves uh, Germantown Baptist Church at six thirty in the morning, getting down to the Mont Bronze Center, backing up to loading docks, and uh, then we leave after the four o'clock uh, grand prize drawing. Um, with you, with it, uh, the bus backed up to the loading dock, you can bring your purchases and put them on the bus so you don't have to carry them around all day or even come back and rest your weary feet or even get a, a refreshment to, to keep from having to pay three and a half or four dollars for a, a drink uh, uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the concession stand there. Uh, if you are wanting to go, please send me an email with the uh, subject line Huntsville Bus Trip and your name, call sign, email address, and cell phone number. And that way we can put you down. Uh, the fare will go up to $120 on August the 1st. Uh, we'd like to get know who is uh, going uh, prior to then. But, uh, we, we need 25, 28 people to make a viable opportunity to go. If anybody has, uh, make a check payable to Delta Amateur Radio Club. And if you want, you can send it to my home QTH. I'm good in QRZ. All right, Joe, thank you much, very much. I want to put another, just a strong plug into the Huntsville Bus Trip. It's a great, fun activity. Uh, riding down the road, you'll have a, uh, an activity with all the the hands and the Elmer's opportunities that are available, and the, just the knowledge that's on that bus uh, is amazing. I'm looking forward to being able to make it my first time this year, so I'm looking forward to that. So uh, we'll move now to Dan. You got anything for us on the uh, trustee? Uh, lots of fun stuff. 
as you know, the A2 seems to have a mind of its own. On uh, days that it wants to work, it works like a champ. Uh, Saturday, I talked to, uh, well, you talked to a guy in Kentucky, Union, border. Uh, Union City, Obion County, yeah. was right up on the Kentucky border. Another staggering how far it was making it. I talked to a guy in Dexter, Missouri, which is above the boot heel. Clear. Uh, and then, then there's days where you just can't get into it because of the static on the input. So we're, we're working on some ideas. Uh, the SWR is great. The duplexers are tuned. Uh, so now we're getting into the advanced. Try as many things as we can before we start throwing money at it. So that's what we're <coughs> doing. So, uh, How about Methodist North? And then uh, we went out to Methodist North. Uh, had a, a couple of complaints on it. Uh, one of them was the APRS coverage was poor. <coughs> and so Joe and I went up on top of Methodist North and the top two thirds of the APRS antenna is laying on another roof. <coughs> so that's bound to affect SWR. So <laughs> we, we uh, turned it off for now. So we got to order another antenna for that. Uh, the 220 was coverage was nowhere near like what the uh, what 47.36 is. So I put my newly purchased from Dayton rig expert on it, and uh, the SWR was about 4.6, 4.64. So that was a little bit high. So we're gonna. I think when we go and replace the antenna for the APRS, we're gonna take the 220 antenna down and see if. Busted, or we can take it. So for now, no APRS T20 antennas. We have to buy some things for that. Um, I told uh, the radio shop to go ahead <coughs> and order a 440 uh, amplifier for the 443.7. So I want to follow up. I'm sure he did order that this week. Um, so we got a lot of work in progress. Got a couple of people that have offered to help. Uh, Tyler, sometimes he's out here. Yeah, over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, you know, just uh, we're working on things, so have patience. It, it might take us a while. We'll get there. All right, cool. Thank you, David. Now I'm going to put a shameless plug in here, okay, everyone? If you've got some interest and you have some ideas or want to just find out more knowledge about how our peers work, uh, Dan and team could absolutely use a few good people. So don't feel bashful. Reach out to Dan or anyone on the board and say, hey, I want to help out. And we'll get you connected so that you can help out. Uh, and you don't have to know anything. Just if you want to learn, that's the biggest thing. We just want to uh, share some knowledge, learn some, have gain some experience. So shameless plug for the repeater guy, uh, guys and gals, uh, for the team to uh, have more people to learn about what's going on and just get some experience. Uh, any other business that I've forgotten, or any other announcement that the general membership would like to make? I got two couple more things, and then we'll take a quick break and jump into the presentations. Any general announcements? Right. A couple of things that I want to throw out there real quick. Um, I do want to put a shameless plug in on your table. You've got a QR code for the signal report. That's our monthly opportunity for you to provide feedback to the, the board of directors about what's working and what's not working. Go ahead and take advantage of that. It's super easy. It's like five questions. It still has the bonus question of recommended snacks. So if you want to change the snack lineup, let Scott know via that extra bonus question for the signal report. Um, and uh, there was something else that I was going to say, but I have forgotten what I was going to say, so I apologize. I'll remember it later. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. With with that, are there there are no other committee reports. Mary Jean sent in her announcement again for the bylaws committee. Is there any old business that hasn't been brought before the membership? All right. 
you know, old business. All right, so we have two fantastic presentations for this month's meeting. We've got a presentation by Ray Miller, AA4UK, on fox hunting. And he's going to jump into that in just a minute. And then after his presentation, we'll have a short break. And then we're going to jump into a presentation uh, by Steve Frazier, kk 4 bbt everybody should know Steve, on um, logging social, logging software, and the Delta Club social media presence. So with that, I'm going to ask Ray Miller if you'll come up and take the mic uh, and start your presentation on fox hunting. I mean, if you want to, if you want to take a short break, you certainly can, or we can take a break after the presentation. What's the preference? It's going to take a little while. Uh, all right, let's take a quick couple-minute break, and we'll be right back. <laughs>